Control was the patient zero of MTV's deflection from pure music videos to the steaming pile of crap it's become. Not to say that some of the byproducts haven't been interesting or welcome in their own right, but putting Daria and Syphil and Ollie aside, the decline has been sharp and painful. Teen Mom? Jersey Shore? Hell, they've got a two-hour block of today's schedule devoted to reruns of that 70s show. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. And it all started with a quirky, fun, very MTV game show. Now, I know lots of stupid stuff. I will never forget Yuji Naka's birthday. I can recite most episodes of Space Ghost Coast to Coast entirely by memory, and the correct orders for most of the early Mega Man games are etched permanently in my mind. But none of those things will do me any good. Nope, this is all about pre-1990s television, music, and movie trivia. Keep in mind, when this game was published, I was six. Heck, the town where I grew up wouldn't even get MTV for another seven years. So what happens when I sit down to match wits against some poorly animated characters? I curb stomp the lot of them. Naturally. The two losers are struck by lightning and reduced to an only slightly less knowledgeable powder. Here's the thing, as being a game goes, remote control is not exactly a shining example of the art. You've got ugly character designs with atrocious facial animations that sometimes come completely apart from their skulls, a host who's animated in about three frames, no multiplayer support, horrible sound effects, and one uninspiring musical track. But get beyond Thunderdome, I mean get beyond that, and you'll see that remote control has a level of snark, self-awareness, and trivial absurdity that well, let's just say it knows Jack. You choose a category, answer a question, rinse, repeat, pause for a very poorly animated snack, and hear important safety tips about proper alligator viewing procedures. All with a veneer of absolute absurdity that makes the shortcomings of the presentation melt away. I mean, what other NES game could possibly offer an SCTV category? You do not doubt my understanding of the nature of Doug and Bob McKenzie, vile machine. In the name of Rick Moranis, I stab at thee. John Candy has no place here. <laughs> Pardon me. Chances are most of you watching this have never even heard of Head of the Class or F Troop. They've achieved nowhere the ubiquity of MASH or All in the Family. This probably isn't the game for you. If you're over the age of 30, though, this game's right in your wheelhouse, provided you can remember the honky-tonk man's girlfriend's name. I fear someone will take issue if you answer Elizabeth. Oh, yeah! 